factors are that they are obligatory, they are obligatory asynchronous asynchronous replicators. Wow, that is a mouthful. So, once again obligatory that means they must do something, they are obliged to do it, they are asked to do it. Asynchronous, synchronous means similar, asynchronous means dissimilar, replicators means division. So, in simple terms when a stem cell, so remember we are talking bone marrow cells, we are providing this respect to all cells that hey we will we are going to talk about you. Remember if we do not talk about them they are going to sit in their areas and they are going to start crying and be sad, so we do not want them to be sad. So, we are talking about stem cells which are sitting in here, they are not stems, do not think that they, they are like little branches of the tree sitting in there, well, I am being silly. So, anyways the stem cells sitting in there are obligatory asynchronous replicators. What that means is that if we have a stem cell, so let us say this is a stem cell, when it divides by mitosis it would create a daughter cell of its own type, so that is its own type. So, you would you would call this as synchronous replication, similarity in the daughter and the parent, synchronous. But the other cell which is produced is of a different kind. So, let us say this is um, this is red blood cells. I know red blood cell does not look like that, it is a progenitor for the myelocytes. So, we are still inside the bone marrow. So, this is a stem cell which when divided creates a daughter cell of its own type and creates another cell which is going to be becoming a different cell. This is a quality of a stem cell. So, stem cells are self replicating, self renewing, they make themselves plus capable of creating other type of cells. These are stem cells. Okay. So, now let us talk a little bit more out of this all let me just close down this topic here and continue our discussion. We will be talking more about this neutrophil. Today's lecture is about the neutrophil. So, uh, yeah it looks like a little scary dude here, but this is a very important cell. So, for the neutrophil I am going to be able to, I am going to be talking about tissue, I am going to be talking about neutrophil, endothelial cells are going to be participants, they are going to be players and the bone marrow cells are going to be the players. Secondary players which are important in today's neutrophil discussion are macrophages because they help neutrophils function and the lymph cells, T, T lymphocytes especially because they also play in this. So, we are not doing these cells in detail, the detail is about neutrophil, but a discussion small discussion will appear in the lecture for the other cells too. Okay. So, now I'm going to erase this. I leave the endothelial cell here, hopefully I can use it. We are talking about the bone marrow cells, the first players. So, what we are talking about is the formation of the neutrophil. So, again I am not really too much interested in describing the histology of the neutrophil and the formation, histological formation of the neutrophil. The important thing to note is this, the way blood cells, so let us talk about stem cells first. We have, so we just decide, we just read or studied that stem cells are self renewing cells, right. So, they, they are obligatory asynchronous replicators, they make themselves and they make other cells, good. Now, if we have a stem cell here, which can make the whole organism a human, a whole human comes from one cell of course, two cells, but a stem cell which can give rise to all kinds of cells in an organism. Organism could be a human, it could be a goat, it could be a bacteria whatever, not bacteria, but anyways. The 
a stem cell which gives rise to everything, by everything I mean within, the, within one organism is called totiopotent. So, I separated the word in two. Potent means potency or the capability of a cell to give rise to others in, in terms of stem cells and totio means total or complete. So, totiopotent stem cells are totally potent, they would make all cells of the body, okay. one concept number one. Have this concept somewhere, write them down. One more thing if you could do, if you could take out a paper, piece of paper, keep it near you with a pencil and there are going to be some terms. For example, we are going to be talking about what are CDs, what are interleukins, what are tumor necrosis factors and there are some abbreviations which I would tell you the complete uh, name for those or com complete expression for those, write them down so that you, you can match it. This lecture is about neutrophils, so you could pick up a piece of paper and say neutrophil and this whole discussion is about that. The other one thing which I would recommend is that every so often pause the video and rehearse in your mind what you just heard. This is very important, this actually causes the memory 